Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is just gonna be a quick video on the attachments I use for all my operators on attack and defense. I've been getting asked to make this video for a little while now, so I just woke up like an hour ago, so fuck it, let's do it. So, getting right into attacker's sledge, probably one of my favorite operators in this game, one of my most played for sure. We're gonna be running the Elite with the 2.5, aka the OG ACOG. Um, for this gun, I recommend using ACOG or 1.5, one of these two. Can't go wrong with either one. If you use anything else besides those two scopes, you're fucking weird, enough said. Uh, gonna be using Flash Hider. I just think Flash Hider is the best for the L8. You can <coughs> try other barrels if you want, but barrel is definitely... Not barrel, Flash Hider. My fault. It's definitely gonna be the way to go for the L8 vertical grip. Yeah, I don't even think you could put anything else on this. I think next season he's gonna be losing his ACOG and there's gonna be angle grip now. So if that is the case, 1.5 and um, vertical is gonna be the move for the L8. Obviously the pistol and aids. Moving on to Thatcher, same thing. The L8, except for there is no ACOG on this or 1.5, so we're gonna be using the two times flash hider vertical. Ash, um, can't go wrong with the R4C or the G36C. Um, personal preference, honestly. I just prefer the G, the G3 because it has less recoil and a 1.5 on it. Um, I saw black ice for it. That's not why I fucking use it, but it is drippy. Um, I just don't like the R4C. I feel like the one times I, I always potato with or I'm not as consistent with and also uh, it kicks up a lot more. Not that I can't control the recoil on it, but it's just so much easier to just hit headshots and be consistent with it going with less recoil and a 1.5 on it. For the pistol, I like the 5.7 more. Um, I've always just liked the 5.7 more, to be honest with you. It shoots faster, it has 20 bullets. I don't always switch my secondary, but when I do, it's just so nice to have the extra 13 bullets. I don't really care about the damage, to be honest with you. And plus, it doesn't kick up. Last time I remember using this pistol, it just kicks up way too much. They might have changed it, but I do not have anything good to say about this pistol. So that's why I used the 5.7. Play more. Um, there's really no point using breach charges with her. It's because you have, obviously, the fucking breaching round for her ability. So there's that. Claim more. Yep. So <clears throat> just put it on windows, put it on runouts, whatever. Blah, 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 blah. Thermite. I really don't play Thermite that much. I don't even really play Hard Breach at all, to be honest with you. But if I do, Thermite's probably my. I don't. Out of all the Hard Breachers, to be honest with you, I mean, Ace has the best gun. He's probably just the best for rank, to be honest with you. But Thermite is kind of slept on. You could do the Thermite Breach Rush. You can burn with his flashes. He's kind of underrated, to be honest with you. Probably the least played at all three of the Hard Breachers, or all four, technically. But <coughs> you know what I mean. Uh, so obviously, I'm going to be using the 5.56, five, why would you use the shotgun? ACOG on the 5.56. Five, this does have a 2 times. Um, can't go wrong with either one, I just, I'm an ACOG demon. I love the 2.5, that's just my personal preference. Flash Hider Vertical, then same thing, gonna go with the 5.7. And then you can't go wrong with smokes or flashes, I just prefer the stuns, because you have an extra one to burn with. But you can switch to the smokes and then smoke a cross or smoke a yeah pretty much just a cross or a fucking part in the site you have to run across and go to plant uh for twitch the f2 which is crazy by the way i don't i don't have black ice for the f2 i have black ice for everything else in our loadout but the f2 uh 1.5 obviously it's just the best scope in the game right now you can't beat it flash hider uh, a lot of people either use flash hider or muzzle break uh i'm just uh all around flash hider guys There's maybe like two guns in this game i don't use flash on which you guys will see in a little bit but yeah flash hider is just the best attachment in this game or the best barrel hands down and then vertical grip and then i like the p9 i feel like the revolver just same thing it has a lot less bullets the recoil on it very inconsistent i like a gun that doesn't kick up or a pistol that doesn't kick up and you know, obviously, if I get another, if I get one kill with the pistol and another guy peeks me, I like to have the extra bullets. The only reason I'm switching to my secondary is because I ran out of ammo in my primary and had to switch to the secondary because another person's about to peek me real quick, right? So that's why I don't like these low ammo pistols that kick up. Just have never treated me right. Then for this, 
smokes. You could run claim wars if uh go on a site that doesn't necessarily need a nomad, but there are some hop outs or run outs. But smokes are probably gonna be the way to go for her. Montang, P9, not really much to say here. Muzzle <coughs> Muzzle laser sight. Glass. Um so let me talk about the gadgets first. Um smokes obviously you could throw them down and see through it. That's his ability. Frags you can actually obviously need below and get a free pick. Um I think smokes are gonna be the better choice for him just because you could smoke across or smoke sight and then watch the guy planning through the smoke. Which isn't really done anymore. It used to be done a lot, like year two, year three, but you can still do it. Um pretty sure you also just got a buff recently. Oh yeah, yeah, you got the bearing nine. It's got the bearing nine now too to switch to. Um, but a lot of versatility here. You can go Ghani with the smokes, or then you can go Baron Nine with the flashes. Or not the flashes, the the nades. My fault. But for this, from using Red Dot C, I just like the simple Red Dot. I don't like when I'm zoomed in. I have a giant circle. Any of these, right? Muzzle, and then another Baron Nine. Red Dot C. Um, I'm actually gonna change this. I like Red Dot B on the Baron Nine actually. The flash. For Fuse, I feel like Fuse is a very underrated operator. I, you rarely ever see him get fucking played, but it's he's just not the meta to be honest with you. But he does have potential. But I, I don't really think he's that good of a fucking pick to be honest with you. But like I said, he is underrated. But compared to other picks, um, you're gonna be wanting to run the AK-12 on this. You can run the shield on him, but you're probably just gonna get doinked in the fucking head in higher ranks. This is this is the type of shit that works in like fucking silver and below. Um, can go the LMG. I mean, you have the 1.5 on it, but you know, compare it to the AK. It just has 200 more fire rate and an ACOG on it. So, you know, all the this LMG is really fucking good, but compared to this, you know. This is the way to go. For this, we'll be using ACOG, aka the 2.5, whatever you want to call it. And then you can't go wrong with the two times on this, but like I said, personal preference, flash, vertical. And then we're going to be going with the PMM. This is actually the only pistol that's like lower ammo compared to its second choice that. I actually use because this just doesn't have recoil. The the other pistols in the game that have the lower ammo choice but the higher damage normally they kick up, but this one doesn't kick up, or it's not as bad compared to the other ones in the game. Blitz, I really think I need to run this quick. Muzzle, laser, all you really can use. Run smokes. <clears throat> IQ, you can't go wrong with any of these guns to be honest with you. I feel like the commando is the most consistent out of the three. Um. Also, you just can't go wrong with the GA, you can't go wrong with the AUG. Uh, it's really just personal preference here. You're gonna, none of the guns outweigh the other. It's just the way you play, how you control recoil, what your preference is. Um, the AUG, I like it just because it has the ACOG on it. You're going to be using flash on it. Commando, 1.5, flash vertical. And then for this one, it doesn't have a scope on it, or 1.5 or 2.0 or 2.5. So... She only has the 1.0, so we're going to be using Red Dot C, Flash, Vertical. And obviously, she only has one fucking pistol. And Clean Wars. Um, but yeah, like I said, can't go wrong with any of these three. I just prefer the 1.5 and the Commando the most. I feel like this gun has just never let me down. <coughs> so that is why I use it. For Buck, we're going to be using the C8. 1.5, Flash, and Laser. I used to play Buck a lot more when he had his nades and when he had an ACOG, but those times are gone, so that is why I prefer playing Sledge over Buck now. But still not a bad operator. He's very good for specific sites, but I wouldn't pick him 24-7. Um, I'm going to be using the Hard Breach gadget, but like I said, this is the same thing. You could uh, flip between these two. You could either flash someone or burn with this, burn the ADSs. Or you can run this if you guys don't have a hard breach, but you need to get like one wall open. For example, if you guys go like workshop, or you're attacking workshop on border, you need to get the hatches or detention open. I would switch to a hard breach gadget. Blackbeard. This used to be one of my favorite operators in the game, but they chopped off his legs and nerfed the shit out of him. So I don't play him as much anymore. But 
going to be using the MK17, the assault rifle, compared to the semi-auto. 1.5 muzzle brake in a vertical. Um, I don't know why, but muzzle brake is this is like pretty much the only assault rifle in the game or like automatic gun I use a muzzle brake on. I don't know what it is, but I just like it the best on that gun. And then obviously muzzle laser for all the pistols in the game. I'm gonna be using a muzzle and a laser. Um, don't really need to click on those. And then flashes the burn cap. Gonna be using the LMG because LMGs are broken in this game. Literally does the exact same damage compared to the AR. It just has an extra 70 bullets. And with the LMG, you have more versatility of scopes. You can put ACOG two times, the Russian ACOG, or 1.5. Flash hider and vertical. And then uh, for the AR, going to be using flash and vertical. Pistol, muzzle, laser. <clears throat> By the way, for all the semi-autos in this game, going to be using muzzle brake, flash, and then either ACOG or 1.5 on them. So, like, for example, for, like, Blackbeard, I didn't go through it, but it would be muzzle brake, vertical. I don't know why I have a 3.0 on that. I'm actually a 1.5 on. Um, next up, Habana. You're going to be using her Type 89, 1.5, flash, vertical, bearing 9, red dot B, flash, and then uh, stuns for her gadgets. Uh, I don't really play Habana that much, to be honest, but she is not a bad operator, not a bad pick. Jackal. Gonna be using his C7E compared to the PDW just because it has better damage. Uh, you can't go wrong with either one of these, to be honest. But um, I j I just like this because it has a two times on it and uh, it does more damage. But uh, you can't go wrong with this one. It has very low recoil. So flash two times angle grip or vertical. I just use angle grip on it because. I mean, it has no recoil regardless. This is just one of those rare cases I use angled. And then for this, vertical 1.5 flash. Gonna be wanting to use a shotgun here to pop hatches or make angles, etc. And then smokes. Ying. Gonna be using the T95 1.5 flash angled. And then obviously she has one pistol, muzzle laser, flashes. And my fall smokes. Sophia. Her AR is poopy now. The LMG is broken right now. So if you're going to be playing Zofia, definitely go with the LMG 1.5 flash vertical. For the AR, 2.0 flash angle grip. And then Claymore's for her. For like Ash and Zofia, there's really no point in running breed charges unless you're going to be playing vertical holes from above on a site that's below you. Um, but half the time, if you're going to be doing that, why would you do it with Zofia when you have Sludge or Buck? You know what I mean? So, Claymores. Toga B could be running her semi auto. 1.5 muzzle vertical. And then the SMG 12. Red dot vertical. Smokes. Lion. I'm using the AR 2.0 flash vertical. The Ghani on him. And then flashes. The reason I use the Ghani is uh, the AR has 50 bullets. You're not going to really run out of ammo in it. I have to switch to your secondary can be very rare when you have to and um i mean the gun is just useful you can get rid of castles barbed wire you can rush it's very versatile and then stuns for him i think uh, probably one of the most overpowered operators in the game right now most played <clears throat> gonna be obviously using her lmg uh 1.5 or acog or the two scopes you want to be running on this 1.5 is way more popular but if you're like me i like to actually run the acog on this gun Flash hider vertical. Can't go wrong with the spear, but uh the LMG is just a way better choice. And then we're using the Ghani on her and the frag. You don't really need to use a pistol on her. You have a fucking hundred <laughs> hundred ammo LMG, you're not really gonna be running at ammo on her. Uh she's also the Ghani's like I said, good for destroying barbed wire, castles, rushing, all that good stuff. Then obviously frags, you could frag below, get a frag kill. Get rid of shit. Anything a frag is good for it in this game. Maverick. I really do not play Maverick that much. But 1.5 flash vertical. Muzzle break laser. Nades. Nomad. Uh, we're using her ARX here. You can't go wrong with either one. This one has more ammo. Unless... This one's more reliable just because it has more ammo. Um, I feel like the 20 volts on this always sells me. But 
you know, this is just not really an operator. I play that much, but between these two, I'm going to go with the ARX. For the AK, flash 1.5, ARX 2.0, and the muzzle. You can also put an ACOG on this, on this if you want, but for this one, I actually like the 2.0. For this one, the same case with all the other pistols. This pistol is just so fucking unreliable. This one has no recoil, more bullets. This one is the better choice. Flashes. Gridlock, very underrated. Can't go wrong with either one, but this gun is better. Um, 2.0 flash vertical. And then you'll be wanting to run the shotgun on here to pop hatches. Uh, not really going to run the Ghani on here, to be honest. Don't really see the point. Uh, and then flash, or not my fault, not flash, it smokes. Knock, very underrated operator. It's good for rushing, good for sneaking up on people you can need below. 1.5 flash. You're running the Deagle here, just because the Deagle isn't that hard to control compared to this one. Muzzle, laser, frags. Maru, G3, or my fault, G8, 2.0, flash, angle grip. And then the SMG 11, hollow, flash, vertical. Stuns. Cali. You can't run anything on Cali. Um, you'd be wanting to run her SPS here. Hollow, flash, laser sight. Claymore. Ayana. Can't go wrong with either one of these weapons. The only reason I go with the ARX is because it has the 1.5. I do like the G3 more, just as a gun, but uh, using a 1.0 on it is not as good in my opinion as running this with a 1.5 same thing could be wanting to run muzzle break on it 1.5 the g3 uh, red dot flash angle grip nades and for this one you can either run a Ghani or you can run <clears throat> flashes it's very versatile like i said uh, but obviously frags are be the better choice they, they actually get you kills and the only reason I run the pistol versus the Ghani on this is because you're running a 20 ammo gun. It's very easy to run out of ammo on this and, you know, it's very annoying to run out of ammo and get killed because of it. Ace, we're going to be using the AK-12 2.0 flash vertical muzzle laser for this. Claymore, zero. We're running the C SC-3000K. That is a very interesting name for the gun. Can't go wrong with either one, but... This one just does way more fucking damage. Angle grip, 1.5 flash, Ghani, and a hard breach gadget. The hard breach, whatever the fuck it's called. Flores. I'm gonna be using the AR33, 1.5 flash. I actually like vertical on this. And then muzzle. You can't, you can't even put a muzzle or a laser sight on this. I didn't even know that. Osa. Really just personal preference here. This gun's a pea shooter, it has no recoil. This one you can run an ACOG on. Um, ACOG, flash, vertical. 1.5, flash, vertical. Um, I just prefer this one because it hits harder and it has an ACOG on it. But like I said, you really cannot go wrong with either weapon here. <coughs> I could be wanting to run smokes on it. Since I don't have him because he's just dog shit. There's no point of buying him. I don't ever see myself playing him. But if I had to... 1.5 or 2.5 flash vertical, and then you'd be wanting to run the Ghani here because he's a 50 ammo gun, and then probably a hard reach gadget. Alright, so now that is the attackers out of the way, let's go on to defenders. Starting off with smoke, we're going to be running the shotgun with red dot B laser sight, and then the SMG 11, hollow A, flash hider vertical, and a shield. There is no reason you should not be running a shield on smoke. And also, smoke is pretty much an operator you need on basically every defense. He makes rotates. He has a very good weapon. He's very versatile. He's one of the most played operators. So, if you guys want to start playing smoke, this is the loadout. Um, you can also switch to the FMG. Holy shit. FMG9. Um, just because... You could hold longer angles with this versus, you know, it's kind of harder with SMG-11 because of the recoil. But only do this if you have someone to make rotates with. But uh, this is going to be the most popular loadout. For Mute, we're going to be running the MP5K with the SMG-11. But like I said, if you don't have anyone to make rotates with, this is going to be the typical loadout. But most of the time, we either have an Aruni or we have someone with a shotgun secondary, such as Castle or Frost or somebody. Um, 
So I'm going to be running the MP5K just because it is a very overpowered gun right now with the 1.5 and no recoil. I'll be running the 1.5 and the flash on it. And the same thing. Um, can't really go wrong with any of the scopes in this, but if I had to recommend a scope, it would either be the Red Dot C or Hollow A. Um, yeah, either one of those. Can't go wrong with it. And obviously a Nitro. Castle. Be running the Ump. Uh, can't go wrong with angle grip or vertical. Really no difference in the recoil. I just like vertical. 1.5. And this is one of the guns I run Compensator on. Um, I've just always run Comp on it. It's probably the most common thing people run on the Ump. And then obviously the shotgun to make rotates, pop hatches, etc. Uh, and then one of these you really can't go wrong with. Uh, I just typically go with the camera because you can shotgun the opposite side of a reinforced wall and then put the camera inside of it. But like also you just can't go wrong with alarms. It's really just personal preference or what site you're using. Pulse can be doing the exact same thing. Comp, vertical, except for 1.5, you'll be using the hollow. And then the 5.7, because this pistol is fucking shit and a nitro. Doc. Using the MP5, 1.5, flash vertical. And then using the P9 because the revolver is fucking ass and barbed wire. Rook, MP5, 2.0, flash vertical, P9, and then you could either use them to make impact, or you could either make, use them to make rotates or impact trick the wall. Um, I would just use impacts to be honest, impact trick the wall, you're not really going to have to be making rotates with it because you're normally going to have a mule or smoke, but like I said, it's just good to get shit off the wall or if they're acing the wall. Um, but if they're not, if they're not running ace, you can go alarms. Cap can be using the 9X19VSN with a 1.5 flash and angle on it, and then the PMM, muzzle laser, nitro cell, pachanka. Don't really have a. <laughs> you should be using this on them. I don't know why you wouldn't, to be honest. This is just an absolute meme of a gun. Could be using the Reflex D on it. Oh, I didn't even know you could change it, to be honest. Yeah, I don't play tachanka. Enough said about that. I don't even know how to bearing nine to be honest. Yeah, Tachanka is just not an operator I play. This operator doesn't matter. Jaeger, probably one of my most played defenders. Always loved them. Red dot C or hollow. I just prefer the red dot C flash vertical. And the muzzle laser and then barbed wire on him. Um always run barbed wire on him. Put it on like the main stairs, the back stairs, windows, common door, whatever. Bandit, hollow A, flash, muzzle laser, nitro. Um, he's probably the least played out of all three of the reach denials, but still a really good gun. Frost, red dot C. I don't use a barrel on her, actually. I don't know why I don't have a barrel on her. Uh, extended barrel, angle, and then secondary shotgun and a shield. Um, she's good on, like, master bed on Villa. And that's about it. Um, maybe some other sites, but not a typical operator in higher elo. Uh, Valkyrie, a very good operator. Red dot C, flash vertical, muzzle laser, nitro. Cavera, gonna be using the M12. The only reason I don't use the shotgun is because this one you can't you can't really spawn peek with this or hold pixel piece with or kill people from far away. This one you can. You just need to hit a headshot. Gonna be using the hollow B flash. In the pistol and then impacts echo probably one of my favorite operators i don't really play him that much because he's not really the meta anymore at least on xbox so but still a really good operator 1.5 vertical bearing nine hollow flash um hollow red dot c or red dot b can't go wrong without the bearing nine i just prefer the red dot b and then obviously shield he's good holding uh top elevator on like bank and some other sites but Besides that, I don't really play Echo that much anymore. Mira, Comp, Hollow A, Vertical. I'm going to be using the Shotgun on here and the Nitro Cell. Lesion, Red Dot A, Flash. And then obviously the Muzzle and the Laser Sight and then Impacts. Uh, same thing, Impact Trick with them or in, uh, yeah, Impact Trick with them or McRotates. Ella, the Shotgun was really overpowered at one point. The uh, Scorpion was really overpowered at one point. They both got nerfed. They're both kind of shit now. 
no one really plays Ella that much anymore, but if you had to run the Scorpion with her, the RG15, Red Dot C Flash Vertical, Hollow Extended Vertical Laser, Muzzle Laser, and then the Shield Energy. You can still hold like Dirt or something with her, um, like Clubhouse or like anywhere you have to play behind a Shield. But um, Ella just really isn't played that much anymore. She's not as good as she used to be. Vigil. Uh, for this one, I actually like the Red Dot C. Red Dot C, Flash, Vertical. I don't know why I have Hollow Bees on this, to be honest with you. Uh, Red Dot C again, Vertical, and then Impacts. Maestro, I rarely ever play Maestro. Red Dot C, Vertical, Flash, and then the Balif, Bailiff, to make Rotates and Barbar. Alibi, probably one of my favorite operas in the game right now. This gun is really fucking stupid and overpowered. MX4 Storm, 1.5 Flash Vertical. Oh, I just gotta follow. <laughs> Yo, Voil Mints. Voil Mints. Thank you for the follow. Just got featured in the YouTube video. Yes, sir. Uh, same thing. Make uses to make rotates and obviously the shield. Clash. Not really much to say here. Use this one. Red Dot C Flash Laser. Cade. Uh, Cade is actually... I'm not sure what they're doing to him. I think they're getting rid of it with 1.5 next season. So, um... If they do, I'm probably going to be using Red Dot C on that. Flash Angled. And then the Revolver. And a Nitro Cell. Ozzy, another really good operator. Very overpowered. Really good gun. 1.5 Flash Vertical. Um, this gun is just way better than this one. It just... The way it just shoots the 1.5 on it, it's just a way better choice. Could be using the Nitro so. Warden, I don't really play Warden that much because it's not really needed on Xbox. Um, Warden's played in like Pro League and like really high comp on PC to see through the smokes, Defender smokes, and Attacker smokes, and Yings and all that good stuff. But on Xbox, way different story. It's more just aim and swinging. So I don't even own him to be honest with you. I never play him. But. 1.5 flash vertical, SMG 12, I'm using the hollow A and the vertical, and then a flash, not a flash, a shield. Um, can swap in between these two, but I feel like a shield is going to be way better useful for your team. Goyo, can be using the vector, hollow A, comp, vertical. Muzzle laser sight, and then the nitro cell. Well, my probably one of my favorite operators in the game right now just because he has the mp5k with the 1.5 on it be using the 1.5 the flash and then be using the p12 because this one's very unreliable in my opinion also break laser and impacts if you have someone you, you, i'd rather use impacts to be honest with you um you can impact trick the wall impact trick the hatch but depends on the site but you can switch to alarms if you want orcs Really good gun. Abilities meh. 1.5 flash. Gonna be using this to make rotates. And barbed wire. Malusi. Very overpowered operator. I pick right. Red dot C flash vertical. Muzzle laser. Gonna be using the camera on her. But same thing. You can switch to this to impact trick the hatch or the wall. Or make rotates depending on the lineup you guys are running. Now Rooney. Gonna be using the P10. Roni with the red dot C flash hider and vertical. Uh, can't really go wrong with either one of these to be honest with you. Um, I just really suck with semi autos. They have just never been my weapon. But if you're one of those people that fucking slap with them, go right ahead and use it. 1.5 muzzle vertical and barbed wire. Thunderbird. Very overpowered operator right now. Gonna be using red dot C on your flash vertical. Bearing 9 red dot B flash and obviously the nitro cell. Thorn, really good gun, like mid ability, red dot C, flash vertical, nothing on the C75 I guess in the shield, a zombie, another really overpowered defender right now, has a very high pick rate, red dot C, flash vertical, the muzzle, and laser, I don't know why I don't have a laser on that, uh, then same thing, you could swap in between these two, but I feel like the impacts are more useful just to impact trick the wall. But you can you can't go wrong with either one of these gadgets. And that, ladies and gentlemen, are my loadouts for attackers and defenders. I did not expect this video to take half an hour. But it did. Anyways, I just took a half an hour of my life to make this video. 
like, comment, and subscribe. I show appreciation for me just talking about fucking gadgets. But anyways, love you guys. Take it fucking easy. See you on the next video.